There's a bench for each of the 184 people who died here, starting with the youngest, three-year-old Dana Falkenberg. She perished aboard the plane along with her eight-year-old sister Zoe and both parents. We were looking for the most timeless way to remember everyone. We felt alphabetically uh, may not mean so much into the distant future, but understanding people's ages and where they were in their lives when, when their lives ended is something that can live on for, for generations. Julie Beckman designed the memorial along with her husband, Keith Caseman. No Take a tour with them and you immediately see that what looks like a random array of benches is anything but. The first really specific thing that strikes me anyway is that this is the path of the plane. Right. And that's where the plane went in and it came in at that angle. So that obviously is deliberate. Right. Water, the symbol of life, runs beneath each bench. It's got um, elements of life and, and a tactile nature that really reminds visitors that they are still alive and they are here and they can come here and have uh, their own thoughts and their own interpretations of what happened that day. This is the most visible memorial to the people who died here on 9-11, but there are many, many others. We have given out a total of uh, and, um, about 130,000 in scholarship to about 40-some recipient. Abraham Scott's wife, Janice, died inside the Pentagon. Using donations he raises on his own, he is helping to put kids through college. Just bring joy to me when I get a letter from the recipient saying that uh, it's real good um, what you're doing in memory of your wife. For James Lechek, who lost a brother here and raised $22 million to build the memorial, the dedication ceremony is bigger than one person. It's a celebration of their families. Uh, it's a celebration of uh, the American spirit, you know, and how we, we come together and accomplish great things when we work together. The designers set out to build a memorial that could mean different things to different people. And in that, they have succeeded. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.